Hello everyone and welcome back to day two of our AI photo editing series. Today we're diving into Generative Expand, one of the coolest new tools for completely changing your composition and reframing your photos. We're going to use AI to extend your canvas, reframe your shots, and even change the camera angle of your original photograph. This is amazing. And don't forget, as a part of this series, you can download all of the sample images as well as PSDs and a printable calendar so you can follow along with the entire AI series. It's totally free. Just click on the link right down below. We got a great video for you. Let's jump into Photoshop. So here's our first image. Now this was photographed vertically. As you can see, we have a portrait orientation image and I want to see what this looks like horizontal. I just want a little bit more space to the left and the right of this photograph. And thanks to generative expand, we can do that. We're going to start off by clicking on our crop tool. So let's go here into our toolbar, simply click on your crop tool or hit C for crop. Now up here at the very top, you're going to see where it says fill. We have a few different options. Transparent will simply fill this with transparent pixels. We have generative expand, which uses AI and that's what we want to check. And we have content aware fill. This is a little bit of an older technology. I wouldn't recommend it for this use. Okay. So we're going to click here on generative expand. Now with generative expand, all you have to do is click on any one of these icons and simply pull your image out. You can even do it multiple sides at the same time. So we're going to click there and then kind of reposition our photo. Okay, looking really good. Now here in our contextual taskbar, you can choose to type something in or you can simply leave it blank and it's going to fill it in with whatever things should be there. Here for our different models, I can click here and see Firefly Image Model 3 is available to us. As of right now, our partner models like Nano Banana are not available in Generative Expand. They might be coming in the future, but as of right now, it's just image one or image three. So let's go ahead and click on image three and click here on generate. And basically this one interpret our image and what it thinks should be there visually, it's gonna fill it. Keep in mind, this is not gonna be true to life. These are not the actual mountains that actually exist in real life. This is AI, it's gonna make up whatever it thinks it should be there, but it's gonna look good. So let's go ahead, jump back in. And here we can see in our property panels, we have a few different options. And honestly, these all look really good. Now let's put things to the test. We're gonna zoom in and we're gonna see the resolution of our original photograph. Really, really nice, our subject looks great. Now, as I scroll down here to find the edge where we have our original photograph and here where we have our generative expand, you can see the quality difference is substantial. It's a quite a bit lower quality for the generative expand, but we have a trick up our sleeves over here in your properties panel. Make sure to click on the version that you've chosen. And then here you're going to see an icon which will allow you to enhance detail. Let's go ahead and click there and it's going to run a new expand basically a new generation to enhance the detail of your generative expand. This is such a great tool. I'm so glad that they added it. And here we're going to see in real time, it's going to automatically update and you can see how much better that looks here in the water. I almost don't even see a difference in the rocks. I can still kind of tell, but keep in mind, I'm at hundred percent zoom. If I just zoom out even just to about 50%, it looks much, much better. And this technology is always evolving. It's just going to get better and better as time goes on. But how amazing is that we've gone from our original photograph, which is literally just this and expanded it out to much, much larger. And you can continue to do this. I can expand it out like, <laughs> you know, as much as I want. There really is no end. Now, this is using Adobe's Firefly Image Model 3 for Generative Expand. We do have access, brand new access to Google's models as well, Nano Banana. So I'm gonna see what that would look like in practice for our next example. We're gonna start with Generative Expand 02 and simply use the same workflow at the very beginning. So let's hit C for the crop tool. Now up here where it says fill, we're gonna choose Generative Expand and I'm gonna simply expand our image out. I wanna see what our subject would look like. There's cool mountain clothes, things like that. I'm not gonna type in anything in, we're going to simply use Firefly and hit generate. So this is going to be using Firefly image model three to expand our image out. Now, sometimes you get really great results using Firefly image model three, sometimes not as much like with people's faces and things like that, but we're going to show you a workaround. That's what we're getting to next. Okay. Now in this case, this looks pretty good. Like uh, subject looks great. You know, this one looks the most natural. He's got a jacket. Like honestly, it filled it up pretty good. What we're going to do, I'm going to take this one step further and we're going to be using Gemini 2.5 Nano Banana. 
So let's go to our layers panel. I'm gonna hit control or command A to select all. You can also simply go to select and then down to all. Now I'm gonna click on generative fill, okay? And I'm gonna say zoom out and I'll say 10%. <laughs> there we go. Zoom out 10%. And this time I'm gonna say use Gemini 2.5 nano banana. So we started off using generative fill with Firefly Image Model 3, but now I'm just gonna say, hey, zoom out a little bit and then click on generate. So it's gonna convert my results from Firefly Image Model 3 to Nano Banana. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a workaround, but this is gonna be great, especially if you have people's faces in the background or anything that just doesn't really look that realistic, it's going to look much, much better. So here we have, let's see, there we go. It's simply zoomed out a little bit on our image. And this is done with our uh, a Nano Banana. And I can even say, go a little bit more. I would say zoom out, let's say 30% and click on generate one more time. So we have a little bit more of a different uh, subject. But as you can see, all of these details, everything in this version is from Nano Banana. I know it looks very similar to what it did in Firefly Model 3, but as we zoom out a little bit more, it's gonna continue to use Nano Banana to develop all the details of our photograph. There we go. And we can see we've zoomed out and now we're using Nano Banana. So what we started with, with just our subject right here, looking really good. We used generative expand to expand some information. And then we were able to zoom out a little bit more using Nano Banana. So I just wanted to show you how to use those technologies at the same time. Technically, you can't use Nano Banana with generative expand, but if you do the generative expand first, then you can just select all, tell it to zoom out and then use Gemini 2.5 Nano Banana. Okay, a little bit of a workaround, but I just wanted to show you how to use both of those models in conjunction with each other because it does happen sometimes where Firefly Model 3 doesn't resolve details like hands or faces very well, so it could be good to use Gemini 2.5 after that. Okay, now onto our next example, Generative Expand 03. For this one, honestly, we're not gonna be expanding our canvas. What I wanna do is simply change the camera angle. Amazing technology. I'm gonna hit Control or Command A to select all, or simply go to select and then go down to select all. We're gonna click on Generative Fill. We're gonna make sure our image model is set to Gemini 2.5 Nano Banana. We're gonna say, change the camera angle to be top down. There we go. And then click here on generate. So it's going to generate a completely new image from scratch, but based on this photograph, it's then going to give us a top down angle. So I wanted to show you both how to expand your images, but also how to change your composition. And look at that. I mean, how amazing is that? Here's our before and the after. I mean, it like the background and things like that, like it looks like the same image, it really does. Like that's the same background as here, but now instead of being a low camera angle, there we go, we have a high camera angle looking top down. Okay, we can even change it one more time. I'm gonna go to my properties panel and we're gonna say to be birds, I, here we go, view, and then click on it, generate one more time. So we can choose the camera angle. So not only are we able to expand our canvas, but we can actually change the camera angle in post-production using AI as well. Oh, technology, it's awesome. So it's almost done here and we're gonna see, we have a bird's eye view. It's not completely from the top, but it is more bird's eye than the other one. So again, here's our original image and here's from our bird's eye view looking down. But the composition, the scene, the subject, everything looks the exact same. It's literally just a different camera angle of the same photo. So we can see just how powerful Generative Expand really is. Whether you're using it traditionally with Firefly Image Model 3 to expand the borders of your image, or you decide to use Nano Banana in addition to either zoom out of your subject or change the perspective of your photograph, this is an amazing technology. So the next time you simply wish there was more content in your photograph, Generative Expand is the way to go. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, it's totally free to follow along with this entire series. You get our sample images, downloadable PSCs, and a printable calendar. All you have to do is sign up using the link right down below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you tomorrow for more AI. <laughs> Bye everyone. <laughs> Woo, nailed it.